There's something that I remember. Uh, I think his name is Ben Feingold. He's a chess grandmaster, and he, he does a lot of teaching, a lot of coaching content for people. And one of the things that he said that always stuck with me was just never resign. Never, you know, you know to, to resign is to, you know, give up, to admit, okay, they beat me before checkmate happens. Because if you resign, you lose. If you don't resign, you might be very likely to lose, but you might not lose. You may be able to force a draw. They may make a really big mistake and let you back in. Today has been a great example of never resign. There have been a lot of these games that have seemed pretty bad and have ended up working out in the end. Completely understand the entirety of Moby Dick. I've read a few chapters of it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually ever finished Moby Dick. It's it's actually on my bookshelf, but uh, I started and I was like, oh, this is this is pretty neat, and then just kind of stopped after about chapter four, and never got back to it. Not for like lack of being interested in it, just never like actively got the motivation to do it again. Why am I staying here? I, I, if I'm not hitting anything, I should not be just holding that position. That was a pointless fight that I didn't have to be part of. And I should really be defaulting to the left side because of that range. I also thought that my uh, feet were going to stay on the ground when I went for that. Can we paint the zone, please? Oh my god, we're, we can't afford to push forward. We need to paint the zone. I don't understand why I'm missing those shots, to be, to be honest. Just that it's higher up. We're, we have four people on this zone. We need to be painting at least that. I'm going to try and get over on the other side here. Well, I should be dead. I am. Uh, even with four people on our zone, at least we capped for a brief moment. This is going to be a hell of a comeback if we can pull it off. Their side... We're all going on the same side. We need more people on the other side. And it's not supposed to be me. Why does this not paint the sponge? That's... Okay, so we're just gonna run into the 52 and die. That's something that I want out of Splatoon 3. The, the sprinklers should just paint the sponge, okay? It only makes sense. I misplayed that one, but... 
Don't have a lot of faith in this at the moment. We'll keep trying. Well, good luck, guys. just been getting outplayed in fights we shouldn't really be losing a fight if we're putting like all four people on one side what should be happening that's causing us to lose in that case is the other team is just able to kind of hold one of the zones and stop us from ever capping that should be the punishment for that but we're putting all four people on one side and still losing the fight a lot of the time there Finally got to X rank in zones. Let's go. I wanted to thank you for the getting out of S plus video. Well, there you go. You got out of S plus. Thanks for being free advertising. <laughs> hey, everybody, go watch the how to get out of S plus video if you want to get out of S plus. Hey, I want to get out of S plus. I should go watch my video. Those two paint sponges, the little ink blobs just aren't hitting it. Cool. Well, they should hit it. <laughs> Bad charge management. I totally outmaneuvered him in that fight, but I never actually got enough charge to fire shots. Oh, this is not a good look. Okay, that's one. Let's get this going. Okay, move, 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 move. I was so worried that they were just going to get like an inkjet triple. Inkjet double, not... Well, I hate it when I'm right. What, you mean the totally legitimate uh, how to get out of X rank? That advice does work. All right, that, it's not fake. You can actually get out of X rank that way. I did not uh, find them, but at least I made them run. One down, we need to be a little careful here. Smart position. Oh! Well, here we go with another inkjet. We still have so much time. I don't know how many times I've felt like we've been shoved way back. another flank.
I'm probably making my positions a little too predictable. People are seeing me. They're having time to push to the position that I'm taking and flank me. I could have gone out lights a little bit more often than I did. How do I get out of x rank gem? I have a video on that. I am curious to see what they do with all of the other sub-weapons. I have a feeling, based on what we've seen so far, that it's going to be a very similar state that Splatoon 2 is in, where anything that's not a lethal bomb is significantly worse. But... It would be really neat if they found a way to not be... This comp is absolute garbage. It's triple backline and a Neo Sploosh. But we are out playing. It's not like they're coming back with better. Oh, I need more shots. Okay. Whew. the only person over there, huh? I mean, I guess two of them can just attack from the opposite side, but... What? Excuse me? Great, we lost our leader. The Luna is still here. Some amazing dedication, but... Your, your post has uh, not been needed for some time here, sir. I think I make it out of this. Yeah, I do. Can I paint the zone? Almost. Oh. The, the Hydra and the Luna both pushed up. That's so unfortunate, and I feel so bad for this x Because they're looking at the game ending and us getting out of this 3v4 but I couldn't keep my end of it. Okay. Let's just focus on taking our side here. I guess we can't do that. This is gonna be such a tragic loss literally like half a second away from winning the 3d4 all unless Guys, guys, over there, over there, behind us. Ah, oh, damn it. Shoot the sponge. We deserved better. We were doing so well. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone would disagree with you that shooters... Either shooters need to be nerfed or other weapons need to be buffed. I would... I'd honestly prefer that other weapons just get buffed, but... 
because slowing the game down just feels lame. Just make the other weapons capable of going fast. Where are the Arctic missions? Couldn't tell you. Please don't be a weapon that can me from there, thank you. They listened to me, they were in Neos, uh, yeah, Neos Blue. Oh, they gave me just enough time to get charged. Thanks for not getting behind cover there, Shooter. Appreciate it. <laughs> they all have the same idea. Oh, and my teammate got the other one on the backside. Let's go. Oh, they've got beacons up top, too. That's something I probably should have checked. Oh, man. Too neat. I wish you the best. Let's go. I knew there was someone over there, and then I unobject permanenced. Good job, Rush. Unfortunately, we lost some. That's a big penalty we gotta get through. And we're not gonna get through it if we keep staggering. We missile. out at some point there. Now oh, we're gonna get flanked. That's how I wanted it to go in the first place, but a little too late for that. It is not object permeance. Uh, to permeate something is to be within it, be inside it, like a, a sponge, like water permeates it, I guess? I don't know. Um, the air permeates our environment. That's still not a great example. But permanence means that it is permanent. It stays there. Psych profs have been saying it wrong? Really? Oh, no. 
That's that's a yikes, because that's a really basic concept in psychology, too. It's one of the things you learn in 101. Unless maybe there's even a, a different term? Haha, I, I bluffed them. They thought I could fall off, and therefore they respected it. When in fact, I cannot. Get juked. Sploosh is just beelining for me, man. They got my teammates for once, huh? I feel like I'm about to get jumped by something. Don't know where the roller is. They're over there. Well, that's a whoops. Feel on you because it works. There, stop making sense. All right. What do you think? I'm being serious? <laughs> this is a terrible ray angle. Got him anyway. Okay, that is not something that should have snuck up on us that hard. They, like, literally rolled across the zone. not on me to lead the charge. I'm just anticipating a faster pace of play, I think, trying to walk forward like that. And I wasn't doing a good job of tracking the roller. They got entirely too many picks on me. I was painting the zone with my main weapon. That paints better than Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb is not a painting special. Booyah Bomb is a special for starting fights and helping your teammates go in.
Okay, so if there are three people watching me right, what's going on on the left? I shot it, it didn't it didn't happen, and then it happened, and then it was too late. Is there some kind of lag? Is my shot missing? Like, what's going on with that? Does anybody understand why I'm not shooting the rails effectively? It is time to feed the cat. Uh, unfortunately, that is not a convenient thing to have happened to me just now. Three on right. Okay, good job, Blob. That is the Meowmix jingle, yes. That is the alarm that I set for when it is time to feed the cat. We're actually in really good shape right now. Oh yeah, th this is lead for sure. and just keep that for the rest of the game as much as I can. <laughs> that was comical looking. Hammer flying through the air like that. Sometimes where I wait for a couple minutes to feed you. I have not forgotten. I simply have an obligation to my human friends. Now is not the time to lose the zones, or to push a hammer. Oh my god, why does it have to be difficult? Just here. Scare them away from it. There we go. Okay. Whew. Now you get fed, cat. Don't worry. I will feed you now.
There's something that I remember. Uh, I think his name is Ben Feingold. He's a chess grandmaster, and he, he does a lot of teaching, a lot of coaching content for people. And one of the things that he said that always stuck with me was just never resign. Never, you know, you know to, to resign is to, you know, give up, to admit, okay, they beat me before checkmate happens. Um, because if you resign, you lose. If you don't resign, you might be very likely to lose, but you might not lose. You may be able to force a draw. They may make a really big mistake and let you back in. Today has been a great example of never resign. There have been a lot of these games that have seemed pretty bad and have ended up working out in the end. See, there it cooperates with me. Why does it just take a second for heavy bullets to trigger the, the rail? Uh, maybe there's latency or something. I don't know. Well, we're all dead. That wasn't the first thing I thought they were going to do. Alright. I thought they were going to flank. left side for now. Wait for the inevitable flank. You can punish. Mm, almost got it. Um, why are we over here? We don't have the zone yet. I guess it's working out. There you go, nice. They got splatted for squid bagging just now. It's tempting to squid bag back if I do get the pick on them. Thing is, I'm giving away the advantage that they're giving me by squid bagging. So as much as the thought is like, well, maybe I can bait them into squid bagging more and giving away the advantage more often. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, we get him eventually. If someone's pre-firing you like that, you do not push. You make a different decision with your life. Not to hit that one direct. So I was just going this way. Nice. So it's just the bucket over there. We've not seen the end of the fight yet. There we go. Oh, we 
good rat. I like how it considers that an assist. There it is. Eh. Squid bagging someone to tilt them is not... I mean, it's not sportsmanlike for one thing. But for another thing, against players with a strong mindset, it's just actually pragmatically the wrong move. Because squid bagging takes control away from your character. Like, yeah, there are, you know, some moments maybe where it's safe to do it. But is it optimal to do it? No. You're wasting time that you could be spending on pushing up. Splatoon's a fast game. The amount of time that you spend, even just with a couple of them, you know, that can make the difference between you getting underneath a ledge that you can shark and being seen getting there. Um, there's just never a time in the game where squid bagging is something that is going to give you an advantage. That you could, you know, you couldn't have gotten something better by just using the time to do something productive. Like, if someone squid bags you, literally just look at it as they are doing something suboptimal that you may be able to punish. Really, a bomb is all you're going to do there? Could have splatted them for that. And it's just us and they are fleeing to the other side for whatever reason. No, I'm still here. I'm stubborn. Cool. Now I'm trapped in a corner, but with armor. It's really unfortunate how the dynamo clipped through the wall there. I should have gotten that pick, because I had not advanced knowledge of them. But uh, they got given away by something that looks like it's not designed to give them away. a bait, and this is what we call me not checking my corners. Uh, I dislike that the brush came over here only when they didn't have support, and then left as soon as they did have support. There are two people watching me here, so in theory this should give us some kind of advantage elsewhere on the map. And so I'm going to keep doing this, especially when I'm getting picks like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, I need to come left and just force someone else to go right. Because they're not being effective on the left-hand side if we're losing zone in a 1v in a 3v2 or whatever. That's why. Oh, 
Ooh, we thought I was gonna fall off for a second. Someone get over there. Oh my god. That's a flank I need to be watching. What really should be happening is that we should have someone on the right who is meeting that person before they get that far. But as it stands. at the door, I will have to go and get that uh, after this game ends, which should be pretty soon, but I'm worried that they'll leave without knowing why I didn't answer. I think we have a chance here, but it's unlikely. Yeah, okay. One sec. The days all blur together for me. They're all work days. Oh, we've got a Hydra, so I'm taking the aggressive stance here. Well, that's not going anywhere. We have an escape route here. He's so weak, he's so weak, he's so weak. I don't know why the Hydra's over here, but he's working. Granted, that's actually relatively... Oh, hey, it's Goose! <laughs> I was going to say, that, that's a relatively well-lined-up shot for them. Um, I don't want to call it easy. Ink trading is not easy in general, but that's a good angle for them to take for it to be... Uh, uh, an angle they can confidently hit. Oh, that was so close. We need to get some paint on the, one of the zones soon. And that's not going to do it. Man, I felt like I was doing pretty well in that game. This is S plus one Greendale. Hi, Goose. Well played. Goose, I think your inkjet was the only uh, time I got splatted that game. I am not teaching right now. Um, I haven't for a couple of years. Last couple of years, I was working for a company called Bravest Esports, um, and that was actually how I start, got started doing Splatoon content and how I found the game in the first place. Um, it's a bit of a long story, but uh, that company shut down about a month and a half ago, and uh, since then, they uh, very graciously decided to give me the channel, since I was the one who was mainly putting content on it anyway, 
um, to just keep growing. And so now I'm trying to make something out of that. Uh, well, sometimes you don't find all the shots you need. And sometimes you stand there shooting for way too long, hoping that they're going to land. But I like to f focus on the first part, because it makes me feel better about myself. Just two chargers. We have to be able to do this, right? Is that a charger? Okay, they fell. Where's the roll? Not the easiest angle to hit. Maybe it wasn't the play. A zap can hit that? I didn't think they were that close. Huh. I mean, I don't play around that area a lot myself. So. It's not something that I'm used to having to fight against, but I could have sworn I was far enough away that an end zap didn't hit me. I figured I would draw. Oh, I got aggro from the charger. I wasn't looking for aggro from the roller, though. You have armor. I can see you, dude. It's okay if we lose the uh, zone here. We just need to not die. You hear that? You hear that? Please don't die. Okay, good job. Good job. We traded one back. Trade that real quick. Oh, hi. I missed entirely too many shots without the work. DC as long as we can recap here. We're really close. Just the roller. Okay. got a double with that one swing. And that's potentially game. My teammates don't clean this up. They're going to be watching this jump. Oh my god, that's a lot of pain. And they, we got a collat. Oh my god. Please paint the zone. No. God, that was not... That was not a game we should be losing. Just not watching the flanks. 
completely on me for going down to the roller. Error spread, it's a, nah, nah. We're closing it down. It's been a long day of splatooning. 